So, I'm Palestinian, carrying a Syrian document, was born and raised in the United Arab Emirates. Um, and here I am in your play, in Slovenia. Why? It's, it's amazing. But yeah, we're making the Trojan women. That is one of the oldest dramas plays in our heritage. Mm. I think it, it, it's really strong. Um, we haven't made it in Slovenia. It's quite tough to produce it um, because of the content. It's like really radical sadness in this play. And it's a story about the refugees. And we know that today there are more than 65 millions of refugees in the world. So the, this number is the biggest in the history of humankind. And the concept of borders is getting stricter every year. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's harder for people to, to save themselves when they have really worse at their mm -hmm. doorsteps. And uh, I think we have to change this concept to help the people. And we don't have the experience of war or we were refugees, you know, generations ago. But we have to understand the people that are in this um, situation. And I think that Europe is not doing enough um, to help mm. the people that need help. Mm. Um, and you, you lived with the hole in your identity. You have this passport that is like a trigger for anecdotes when you reach the borders. Yeah. And you're writing about this, you're living this. So we invited you to come here to open this contemporary re reality. We live, but we don't completely under understand in Europe. Mm. Yeah, and um, it's just great to feel that um, we challenge together these concepts of borders, because I don't feel any sort of border here whatsoever, hmm. uh, really. I mean, I, I might feel it at the border, in the airport, but as soon as I'm in, I don't feel any sort of distance. Yeah. Uh, and we should understand that there is a bureaucratical uh, distance, but not necessarily a, a human or cultural, uh, because yeah, we connected through your play mm -hmm. um, very much. And uh, this is what's, what's great. So, you know, every three seconds, they calculated every three seconds, somebody becomes a refugee. So like, like now we're talking, the people, mm. um, the people are becoming refugees without home. Um, and the people are dying, uh, in the deserts, uh, on the sea, the governments all around the world try to harden the, the ways to their, to their countries. So the people, refugees are taking the harder road and they're dying. Mm. So the governments are killing people on the way to better future. Mm. Um, and this is really, I mean, it's, it's horrible situation. And I also believe that we are deeply connected to the East. Even the name Europe what is from the East. Europe was a princess of the king uh, in the Lebanon, we would say today. Yeah. Um, Phoenicia. Phoenicia. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, I think we should wake up that there is no us and them anymore. I'm, I'm completely uh, against we and they, mm. I don't have that anymore. Mm. I do not connect to an entity. Uh, I get inspired by culture, but I do not refer to myself as, as a we and never refer to any sort of geographical space as they, and I think this is where it should start on a personal level and then hopefully it will start becoming clearer on a bigger scale on a governmental level because this we are this and they are that is what's causing most of the damage uh, because we immediately um, maybe raise ourselves above when we do that uh, so this is I think also very important Culture is not there to differentiate, to say we and they. It's, it's, that's not the, the beauty of it. The beauty of it is that it always merges and, and mixes and, and 
you know, it gets, it marries and, and creates uh, nicer things. Um, yeah. Yeah.